Welcome to the Neo Soul Cypher Show, everyone. This is uh, Ray, also known as Neo Soul One. I am glad to have you with us tonight. Uh, I am flying a little bit solo for right now, but um, that's all good. Just so that you know, again, the Neo Soul Cypher Show is sponsored by the Neo Soul Cypher.com. Um, it's your place for Neo Soul classic hip hop lifestyle and community and we encourage everyone to check out the site um, there's some really new and upcoming changes to the site that are coming up very soon that we're very very excited about and uh, we're looking forward to uh, bringing to you guys shortly um, we're going to be sending out some requests for really suggestions from all of you honestly to get your input get your input and thoughts as we move forward with a relaunch for neosoulcypher.com in the next few months. So we're very excited about that. But in the meantime, in between time, we've got wonderful shows in between. We've got a wonderful show tonight, everyone. We've got Kyla Silk joining us. Kyla is really an incredible up and coming talent. We're lucky to have her on the show tonight and we're excited about um, having her with us. Uh, we've got Regina um, who hopefully will be able to join us shortly. We just got some uh, technical, we have some technical difficulties, but I think you can see her. I think everyone can see her. Um, and so uh, my girl Regina is in the house, but um, as you can see, we've got some technical difficulties right now, but that is all good because we're going to still make this happen. You know what I'm saying? With that said, I want to point out there's some really good and interesting stuff happening in the music space over the last uh, few weeks. We've got uh, a, a release by the Queen Bee herself. Um, you know, we've got her coming out with uh, her latest single uh, and um, her album forthcoming. And um, and it's it's is it Touch My Soul? What it, I'm trying to remember the name of the exact the, the exact title of the song, um, but it is a throwback in many ways. Um, it's got a house kind of vibe to it, house music vibe to it. And um, so we're excited about listening to the whole album when it comes out and uh, looking forward to that. We've got uh, Kendrick Lamar came out with a recent album and uh, I encourage everyone to check that out as well. We're going to do some um, some reviews of the album shortly. And so we're looking forward to uh, to be able to go ahead and do that. And we've got a wonderful feature also on uh, NeoSoulCypher.com that we are excited about people um, checking out. Um, we have always had kind of an events calendar on the site, but that events calendar is now powered with really, really cool events um, that are happening all around the country as kind of things reopen and um, and music gets back to being in a, a live kind of thing. And so um, again, we encourage people to check out um, the, the homepage and you'll see that there's a link to uh, a wonderful uh, events calendar. And that calendar is gonna be evolving as well. It's gonna be a bit more interactive and, and uh, I popping in the next week. Um, but in the meantime, but in the meantime, uh, we've got uh, we've got uh, we've got uh, we've got a, a, echo. echo. What? Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Is that me? Regina, are you, are you there? Can you hear me? I can, I can hear, you hear you now. Yay! Okay, okay. <laughs> but somehow, so some way, I think you're, 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 you're creating, creating an echo. echo. Okay. All right. I'll fix it. Okay. Okay, that that's better. But can I hear you now? Is the question. No. <laughs> so the echo's gone, but you are gone as well. All right. So this is where we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to when when you wanna go, you're gonna have to say, uh, and then I'm gonna shut up so that there'll be no echo. So I'm gonna let you go right now. You can turn off the mute. I'm gonna shut up. Go ahead. What I wasn't ready. <laughs> I was actually working on it. I'm working on it so that you don't have an uh, echo. Actually, what happened was there was an update. And uh, okay. can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, and I, I guess the update sort of threw everything off a little bit. I wasn't prepared for that, but I'm good. I'm good. I'm still working on it. Is the sound okay? Yay. Okay. All righty. Good. Yes, I'm still working on it. Still All right. So I'll put it on mute now. now. Yeah, man. Got gotcha. you. All right. All right. All right, excellent. All right, excellent. All right, so now we're going to bring in Kyla. Again, we're excited about having Kyla. We're looking forward to um, her, her telling us a little bit more about herself, about her music, and of course, we're going to have uh, a couple of her uh, hot tracks um, to uh, 
to liven up uh, the, the night as well. So with that, we are bringing in Kyla Silk. What's up, Kyla? Hi, nothing much. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So we are very, very happy to have you on. Sorry, we've got a couple of technical difficulties going on tonight, but that's okay. All that good. just means that we're going to have to have you on again where we have everything working smoothly. But in the Definitely. meantime, we want to make sure we do not lose this opportunity tonight to get to know Kyla Silk a little bit. So, um, Kyla, tell us a little bit about uh, who you are as a artist first and then as a person second, and then we'll talk a little bit more about your music. Okay, so I've, I'm an artist uh, that likes to speak a lot about consciousness and growing, evolving. Um, I've been singing my whole life and I'm from Long Island originally. I've been living in Albany now for about five or six years. I went okay. to College of St. Rose and studied the music industry there, graduated last August with a Bachelor's of Science. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. I appreciate that. Congratulations. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Thanks. Um, As an artist, I feel that I really enjoy the collaborative process and working with a lot of other creators to make something unique. I think when everybody has an idea that they can bring to the table and a little bit of a piece of themselves, just brings a fusion of so many different influences. So that's something I've enjoyed in the last like five years or so. Before that, I was just performing by myself. I played guitar and I sang. Mm -hmm. And so, okay. you know, I grew up, uh, I'm second generation American. My mom's from Brazil. So okay. I grew up around a lot of like house music and bossa nova and okay. uh, yeah. like R&B soul, sure. like 90s R&B soul. Yeah. So, and then with my dad, he raised me on a lot of different things like Stevie Wonder was a big household name and right. a lot of like classics that his parents listened to and he was a punker when he was a kid so okay. that's really cool. Nice. Um, now yeah. were, were your parents musicians by any chance or just lovers of music? My mom is a lover of music. She wears many different hats. She loves to cook and model and she loves she's very into spirituality. She's like a yeah. Reiki master now. And my mom does that kind of stuff. Um, but my dad, he was the one that got me into music. He played guitar. He was in like a reggae and ska band when he was in college. Uh oh, you said you said the magic word. I know yeah. you don't want to talk about that. So okay, yeah, definitely. And yeah. Um, and now he he's really into the country music. So he's a oh, okay. solo act and he plays guitar and plays some country songs. So he still got that going for him, which is exciting. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. 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 So now some people are kind of truly wrapped up completely in their music as an artist as well, but some people actually try to identify themselves outside of that. So how would, if, if people were to ask you um, about who you are outside of your artistry, outside of your music, who, who would Kyla Silk be, Kyla Silk be with outside of music? I have somebody that is going through, I've been saying that like, as I've just graduated college and I'm post-grad now and I'm starting this adulting journey, I right. would say that I was going through human school while a lot of other people were focusing a lot on like academics and I loved school growing up and, and learning and like obtaining a lot of knowledge, but I feel like I can't, I don't put that knowledge to the test until I've actually been getting into specific experiences where like those tools unlock and skills and things like that. Sure. So I think as a person, I'm constantly trying to discover a new understanding about people, about relationships, about like the dynamic between different kinds of humans and, um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm constantly learning and trying to figure out my way yeah. and okay. I'm a very love, loving person, so. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I like to ask that question because I, because oftentimes when people talk about themselves outside of their music, you find that their music also still represents that in mm -hmm. some shape or form, even though I, it's considered outside of their, their artistry. And um, I think that's a beautiful thing. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is. And that's that's what that's what I love about kind of the artistic process and stuff. You you can kind of bring all parts of yourself uh, into it. Um, I'm going to shut up for a second um, so that we don't have the um, echo issue, and I'm going to open it up for Regina so she can ask some questions as well. So sure, go ahead, Gina. Gina. Am I messing you guys up? Is there an echo? I think we're good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 I was. I, I love the um, the human connection aspect that you spoke of. So I guess you're like one of the uh, emotional intelligence people who are like really um, into it. Um, who really read people? Who really look into it? Not just look at people, but look into people. Do you understand what I'm saying? Who actually try to understand what's going on? I love. I, no, I love that. I love that about a music about your music, and I love that statement. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I feel, I feel like, like looking like, into a lot of other, other people, people, like trying to understand, understand and look into, into somebody's, somebody's soul. soul. Regina, okay, good. Sorry, I feel like looking into somebody else is trying to understand other people is also a way of understanding yourself. And you know, um, I've learned a lot about myself through putting my putting myself in another person's shoes and it can be really hard to do that especially in this time where there's a lot of divide and a lot of oppression that's happening to women to women of color to black women mm -hmm. and like um you know i i i don't i don't know how we can continue in industries aside from music and entertainment specifically music and entertainment and art and stuff. I don't know how we can really flourish without having the authenticity of like seeing different perspectives and speaking on those and being able to like put ourselves in other people's shoes and positions and letting that reflect in our art. Mm -hmm. so. And that's, no, that's, I, 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 that's, that's the magic of music. And that's like, uh, like, of course, one of my favorite artists, of course, is Bob Marley. You know, and then Marvin Gaye about the Vietnam War. But, you know, there were times like now I'm like, dang, I wish we could we could really use a Bob Marley right now. We could we could really use a James Brown or we could really use uh, uh, somebody who's going to uh, bring us together um, with their music. Maybe Wonder, Wonder and is a huge, huge pillar of light. Light, light in this world. Uh, 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 Dylan, Dylan, <laughs> you know, we need, we need, you know, inspirational music like that. Yes. I don't, I don't want to. Okay, cool, cool. So yeah, I mean, um, that's an excellent point that that this might be one of those times in, in the history of the music of the world entertainment that we might need someone to step up and really, um, and the reality is we need someone who's got a big name to do it because the reality is there are a lot of artists who are speaking on consciously about key issues and, and the like. Um, there's a guy from uh, the Goody Mob group, uh, which is a kind of a rap group out of the Atlanta area that just came out with a cool song about, you know, all the bills that he has to deal with. <laughs> and, um, and so that is something that um, people like, you, you hear that sort of thing, but the reality is you need kind of, you know, some of the larger name artists um, to kind of carry the mantle when it comes to that. But um, I, I love the fact that it's something that you're sensitive to as well. Absolutely. And so um, also it's very interesting to me that, you know, you're just graduating college. And so you represent somewhat of a newer generation coming into the business. And um, so I would love to get your perspective on, on some of the younger artists uh, today and, and how they impact you um, in terms of you liking it or not liking what they're doing? And how do you see yourself fitting into that? Do you see yourself fitting into kind of um, a newer generation or do you find yourself attracted to some of the more um, legacy elements of, of, of say soul music, neo soul, et cetera? Um, it's always interesting to hear that when you, from younger artists that are coming into the industry, kind of how they identify. Yeah. so. When I was coming into college, I had a very different perspective of things than coming out. And while I was in college, I discovered the platform TikTok. And I feel that a lot of people in my generation are getting super creative and innovative with that app and being able to uh, put their music out there. And there's a lot of different right. genres that are coming out of that, which I think is really, really cool. Um, but as I've been 
like as I've been going through college, I feel like I started thinking that I knew more than I did. And life has a way of kicking you in the ass. And I was very lucky, like, to <laughs> honestly be surrounded by a lot of, for the first time, I was surrounded by a lot of people my age who were interested in a lot of similar things that I was interested in. And, like, they did it all. I feel like they inspired me a lot because I was able to see people wear so many different hats and work together to mm -hmm. create something. Mm -hmm. And when I came into college, I just wanted to do one thing. I just really wanted to sing sure. and perform and write. Sure. And like, I learned to really enjoy the business side of things like artist management and being a liaison between venue and clientele and stuff. Right. I think with this generation, we're very much exposed to streaming and like online, just fast content of recording stuff and putting them mm -hmm. out. Whereas back in the day, you were touring and creating stuff to 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 record essentially. Mm -hmm. um, and I really, I'm I'm toggling between the two because I think that the big question is: Do I want fame or do I want like? A legacy essentially and i right. think that to build a legacy it takes a lot of time it's a right. lot of like being very sure of who you are as a person and then the message that you're trying to put out there and that's something i've been trying to figure out like for sure. for a few years how to blend like who i am in my house and with my friends um to the same as like where i'm at on stage because having um Having a platform requires you to, you know, with great power comes great responsibility kind of thing. Absolutely. And, it, Absolutely. and it's not all guaranteed. It's not all guaranteed because as, you know, there's more people that are going into the creative field, there's a, a lot less people that are able to really, like, climb up that ladder and sustain it where most of, like, the elite artists are right now. Right. And um, I think that because I've always really enjoyed, I, I love a lot of like dead musicians, like Selena Quintanilla, mm -hmm. I love Amy Winehouse and mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Jimi Hendrix and yeah. the Grateful Dead are really awesome, you know, it's really, you yeah. know. But um, I, I've, I've just noticed that there's a telltale sign of like what it can, what can happen if you get really caught up in the idea of just trying to um, make a big statement with something and right. to reap those rewards? Sure. I think sure. it's a lot more uh, sustainable to create a community of people and to be doing something that you're passionate about. And on top of that, setting your value and saying, hey, this is what I feel that I deserve. Um, right. Sorry, I'm rambling, but like no, 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 no. I I, I appreciate this because I, I think I was, I didn't have the best question of all because I I was trying to make you make a, a a stark choice between this and that, and the reality is um, that's not necessarily you know what you should be doing. You should necessarily have to choose between uh, do I want to be kind of what a new artist is or do I want to be what a legacy artist is. It really is a synthesis of who you are, number one, and it may incorporate some or, or all of, of, of those those particular um, kind of areas of music, the more contemporary and the more legacy. So, mm -hmm. um, no, I, th I think it was a, a great answer, honestly, because it was really authentic. It, was, it didn't just say, okay, I'm gonna choose this one, I'm gonna choose that one. I'm much more than that, so I appreciate that. Now, with yeah. that said, I wanna also make sure people appreciate your music, because it is dope, and we wanna make sure that people get a chance to listen to a couple of your tracks. So we are going to start with a track that you have collaborated with uh, with someone named Mark Manning. And so after the oh, track, yeah. you'll, you'll be able to tell us a little bit more about that collaboration and who totally. Mark Manning is. But in sure. the meantime, in between time, we are gonna hit everyone off with Honeymoon. Let's say we never speak again Why would we cry? But I would be 
so remiss to never try. Do you think I talk too much or actually just trying to stretch the time? We don't need to fall in love. We can leave that for the winter time. Oh, I've been thinking lately you don't have to be my baby. Yeah, it's a game you can play me. I don't need you on the baby. So I'm thinking lately you don't have to be my baby. It's a game you can play me. I don't need you on the baby. So I'm thinking lately you don't have to be my baby. It's a game you can play me. I don't need you on the baby. I don't care when you go. Cause only just are in the know. Now this guy you say we know we can't go there. I hear it's a honeymoon. No care when you go, cause only the time is not long. Now this time we share it, no one can believe it. I hear it's a honeymoon. So I've been thinking lately, I don't wanna be your baby. It's a game and you can play me. I don't need you on the daily show. I've been thinking lately, I don't wanna be your baby. It's a game and you can play me. I don't need Listening to a soulful, and I hope you like her, BB Rex, BB Rexer, I think that's her name, BB Rexer. Uh huh. Your, your voice is like a soulful, a gospel version of her, or a soulful version of her, or the girl who does issues, and I cannot think of her name. I got issues. You got them too. Get Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, oh my God, your voice is amazing, and the collaboration is spiritual. It's amazing. I don't want to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank right. you so much. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean. Um, it's one of those ones that make you close your eyes and listen to it. Like, like if I close my eyes, I won't miss anything. And I'm just hearing all the rips and everything. Oh, my God, it was amazing. The magic was all Mark Manning and TSB. It's, it's his group. Um, he wrote the song. He he just put me onto it and got me to sing all of that it was tough it was very tough especially where i was at vocally at that point i was just feeling a little strained but like 
Mark has always been somebody that's pushed me in the right direction to like get my shit together and like go out and be who I'm supposed to be. And like, um, so on that track was uh, Joe Tarone on drums, Dan Carr on guitar, Gabe Kunglerhorn on guitar, um, uh, Sam Walchuk on bass, Mark as a vocalist, absolutely incredible, and myself. I hope I'm not forgetting anybody. Um, but yeah, so, so we did that we did live. That we live. recorded it live, and there's a music video for it that just came out, which is super exciting. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So this is what I want to make sure we do. Um, that is a dope song, and I want to make sure that people hear it. So I want to make sure that we get a chance to help help you promote that, honestly. Totally. And so, um, you know, we're, we're going to do our best to do that. But send us the, the, the video as well so Definitely. that we, we can pair the song with the video because we'd, we'd love to do that. Um, so, so tell me about the process a little bit more in terms of, this collaboration um, was this was this all in studio, uh, or did you do this uh, remotely? I'd love to hear about the process a little bit. So, what's really cool about the uh, classmates that I've had is that uh, there's a band called Lemon of Choice. So, you guys who have a house, and they've collected a bunch of really cool equipment. Um, Put it in their basement and uh they're they're working on some really cool projects um we have a foundation as well i can get into that later but like uh the the process on my end was super simple because i just had to show up and do learn the song and like do the song and stuff but uh we were live tracking in the basement um so the setup was like you'll see it in the video, we we recorded it while we were um, recording the music video for it. We did oh, really? a few okay. takes. We did a few takes, and we comped some of the vocal takes mm -hmm. for myself. And um, and then Sam Walchuk, he produced it, and I'm pretty sure he mastered it as well. So you know, it's a it's for Mark. His album was a long process, and he you know, the process that that we go into with writing is, you know, usually we write the bare bones of the song, you bring it to your group and, uh, you know, add instrumentation to it. And Mark's really big on like powerful backup vocals and things. So he kind of works on that stuff. And I tend to work on that stuff too, like in the very early processes of it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, he put out this album called Not Enough, and it's absolutely amazing. It's got a lot of like uh, Jasmine Sullivan and uh, yeah. Beyonce yeah. elements to it, okay. and okay. you know he's a very very ambitious writer and um, an all around creative. He just put out um, a single, I believe, for yesterday. It's called History in the Making, so you guys should definitely check that out too. Okay. Um, and then in other news, as far as those people that were on the song, um, these these uh, colleagues that I have, they work very frivolously on a lot of different projects. They've got something called Making Toast, where they um, bring in local artists and upcoming people, and they do a little recording live session for them in the basement, okay, um, in the studio. And so that is something that they're doing through a foundation that we created for our friend called the Kyle Robinson Memorial Foundation. Oh, okay. Um, our friend Kyle Robinson passed away in 2020. It's been about, it's been two years now, oh, uh, July 6th. Yeah, and he was another just incredible multi-instrumentalist and producer and mm -hmm. co-creator and mm -hmm. like, so, you know, these people that I've had the opportunity to surround myself with have, like, they, they, I've learned so much from them, especially just about, like, being able to balance um, different skills and finding an avenue to, like, become motivated to, to learn a new skill and 
and hone in on those things and try new things with each other. So cool. It's really cool. cool. You should definitely check out Mark Manning and Lemon of Choice, Canela, okay. um, and Torienda Story. They're all great. All right. All right. All right. We, we, will we will take, take your recommendation. recommendation. You had said that it was, it was difficult. So I'm wondering about the, because when you sing it, the hearing it is so passionate. And so I'm wondering about like in the studio, how did you like really dig down deep to find all that passion? Oh, it's oh, not, it's not, it's not hard at all. It's not hard at all. I mean, it sometimes it feels like the projects that I go to work on, they somehow are happening in a time where I'm able to like really tap into that emotion because I'm going through it. Or like, I just, I found that music is so powerful in a way that like you gravitate towards the things that you're resonating with the most at that time. And it can be almost like magic because you're taking in certain words and certain feelings. And then you start living those words and feelings. And it can be a little scary, especially like depending on what you're listening to and stuff. But with Mark, it's really easy to tap in and to just like feel through stuff because we just have a really good energy and chemistry with each other. And so it's yeah. fun to like bounce off ideas of him. And like, he's just such an incredible singer and he challenges me to push and to just, you know, sing with my heart and, and with my soul. And so you know, I really can't do it without like that kind of, that kind of motivation, you know? No, no, absolutely. Um, you know, that's why the collaborative process is so important to, to artistry. And um, that's why also having good writers and producers mm -hmm. are is so important as well. Um, totally. Because that's how you optimize your talent, honestly. Sure. And, um, and so that's great to hear that you are in the benefit of that. Now, we want to make sure that we get into a, a solo song that you have as well called Garden. And so, mm -hmm. but before we do that, tell us a little bit about the song. Um, what was kind of your inspiration for this song? And I uh, would love to hear a little bit more about it because it's a very interesting title and, and uh, premise. Yeah. So Garden, I wrote that song as um, it's a lot about just... I was thinking about like weeding out my garden of all of the things that I can do without, you know, like all of the negative energy that I can do without all of the, right. like the preconceived notions of other people and other people having of me and things like that. Um, I was working with a collective of my friends called the flavors, all these songs that I released with the garden EP was through Rose record label. So even all of that was super collaborative too. Okay. Um, Eobed Tedes, he's also from the Baltimore area. Um, he brought me this beat and he was like, all right, I have this beat. It's got um, kind of like a slide, like Calvin Harris and like a little bit sure. of like Anderson Pack vibe too. So yeah. I was like, okay. So when I heard it, I was thinking of the song Emotions Mariah Carey. And so yeah. like I got that melody idea from there. But yeah. Yeah. I also was just thinking of something that would be like a cool leveling up song um, yeah. and a way that still shows the um, like embodies the love that I have for myself and that I should sure. have for myself, but also Absolutely. extending that to the other person, other people too. Nice. Um, yeah. Nice, nice. Well, we're gonna let folks hear this artistry coming through. Uh, it's, it's really, really, really dope. So here you go. Garden. Mm -hmm. Nope, I think it's the same song. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. It is one of those days, isn't it? <laughs> it's a full moon. Yep. There we go. Take a different path. I'm about to go far. If you won't hold me back, you can make a wish. Standing by and standing tall today. And you'll be damned if you're away. Ooh, overflowing my heart is remedy. 
Are you trying to poison me? No, cleanse my soil from all your toxicity. Cause maybe it's time for me. Don't tell me how to go in my own garden. Why do you care what people say they can't control you? The break is start today, won't try to solve you. Just know your growth is as important to And I know that you make it through. Ooh, plant a seed inside of your mind that you can be anything that you dream to be. Oh, don't work your blessings, manifest your destiny. I need space, no stress you see on my face. You don't own me, today is my day. Floating on my flyaway, a place where I can see myself. To go, I must see myself. They don't know about all the seeds I felt. The homies hoping they need by example. My mental, my mind, my right 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 love it love it i like that song a lot too oh, it's good even like especially now because i've been like feeling in the funk a little bit lately to be honest with you <laughs> yeah so, that was fun well you should you should you should feel safe and, and secure in, this, in the fact that you created some some pretty pretty important artistry um, i appreciate that I mean, seriously i mean um this is a song, honestly, that could could truly be a hit worldwide. I mean, it's got I, it's got appeal, honestly, across the board. And um, and I, I mean, I, I see this in the London clubs in particular. Oh, um, that's so I, I cool. Hear that? I, I mean, you know, I, there's just so many different pockets around that I, I think would be really receptive to this song. I and appreciate so, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will I'll say see. though, like I like I said it a lot of this had so much to do with the collaboration process. Like uh, Z, the author was on that verse. He incredible. He was an NPR tiny desk solo uh, finalist last year. Um, he was a what? I'm sorry. I missed that. He was, he was, a... he was that he was an NPR tiny desk ah, got um, it. audition soloist, sure. like a uh, sure. uh, sure. final finalist sure. um, last yeah. year. So like, yeah. and he's an amazing, just such an amazing talent. I've met a lot of people who have been able to do so much more by themselves than I've been able to do up until this point. And mm -hmm. like, so honestly I do. Eobed Tedes was made that track. Norris um, Dowell was one person that was producing and mixing mm -hmm. that project. Um, mm -hmm. We had Nias and Donovan, we had Marcos Perez. Ana Carolina on bass. We also had Joe Benevento, Josh Morris. Like there were a lot of, yeah. a well, lot I'm, of I'm, incredible I'm impressed people. that you remember every single person. That is impressive. Oh, um, there's so many people. Now the back, the back, the background vocals, were they all blended in of, of, with you or did you have a- It was a, me a, and Mark Manning. So he was ah, on that too. Okay. So okay. like, it was really cool. You know, I, I've yeah. been really enjoying those, those collaborations and- um, Yeah. 
I'm doing more collaborations. I'm also working on some stuff by myself, which is definitely like, it's a scary endeavor because I, it, it, it is always so cool to be able to create something with another person's vision in mind as well, because mm -hmm. you're able to reach more people that will connect with it or will feel like, no, this is not something that I typically listen to, but it's got a little bit of a flavor that I'm used to that I can jive with, you know? Sure. Um, and I mean, I write the lyrics and I write the melody and uh, there's some songs that I have I've come in with like the bare bones of things, but the, there's always something that is coming from and building off of like another idea yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I have a lot of appreciation for the people that I've met at St. Rose and that I was able to, collaborate with because i wouldn't have been able to do any of that stuff without them no absolutely i mean um it sounds like you pretty have a, a pretty cool ecosystem um at, at that school now is that that school based in albany as well yeah it's an albany based okay. school yeah. so yeah. uh you know since i've graduated and you know people are graduating i've been kind of working here and there with different people um sure. i'm also a part of this network called the Silver Arrow Band. So I've met a lot okay. of people in the Capital District area and New York City sure. area. Sure. Um, yeah. And it's super cool to be in the industry because, you know, I'm starting in like a small sector of the industry, but it right. goes far and wide. And I've met them like all over the world, all over the country. Yeah, um, absolutely. So, you know, the collaborations, I don't think that they're going to stop anytime soon. I'm um, working on something with Mark right now. And I was working on this project that was like a little bit folkier and more yeah. country-esque with uh, Dan Carr from from Lemon of Choice. So, um, so you know, I'm, I'm loving it. I, I would love to travel the world and collaborate with people. Yeah. I love that. I love that. So let's say you didn't co collaborate and you were just you. What would that sound like? What style? What genre? What is it? Who are you? I'm still trying still to figure trying. it out. It's very storytelling. Um, it depends. Like if I'm just playing singing by myself and it's just voice and I have maybe like snap to a kind of element. I think that there's so many different places that I can go. Um, I've noticed with the stuff that I've been writing lately, it's been very similar to what I would have written when I was like 12. And around that time, I was listening to a lot more singer songwriters like Taylor Swift, for example. Mm -hmm. And, um, and like, I don't know, it's been, it's been kind of intimidating um, I just got my own apartment, so I finally have my own space where I can create at my own leisure. And, um, and you know, I've been enjoying things that are very stripped down. Like, I like a lot of beer and iron and wine. And um, I've been liking Emily King, for example. She's somebody who's able to do things that have like strings and very like stripped down sets to things mm -hmm. that are very princess and eighties pop and funk and like R&B, mm -hmm. which I think is so cool. Um, I'm gonna be honest, like during COVID and in the last three years, there's been a lot of things that have happened in my outside world that have really um, like taken my, dulled my shine a little bit and my ambition. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I, I was so lucky that in the time where like I was lacking the motivation to create, I had some sort of a responsibility to create because I was working on this EP. So I was writing a lot of stuff, like a couple songs in real time. And then there were other songs I was working on for a little bit. Right. But I lost my way for a while. And it's been kind of tough because I've noticed like I'm writing and playing a lot more. But I wasn't creating as much. And then I find myself like tapping on the table or thinking like a baseline in my head and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get into it a little bit more and 
in processes of just like voice memoing more going on. I, I had Pro Tools for a while and I can't afford it right now. So I'm okay. using garage okay. band. <laughs> just like, you know, just yeah. putting something in and trying yeah. to play around with like what I have. But I've, I used to have a hard time asking for help. And uh, and then I started asking for help too much to the point where like I wasn't giving myself enough space to express the way that I wanted to express. Sure, sure, um, sure. So Absolutely. so it's definitely a constant battle every day. Like yeah. just, just you know, you know it's sorry, go ahead, go ahead. and you do have the responsibility to create. And if you've been at a, at a down area, uh, a space lately. And you're talking about these things that's what real music is about and your responsibility is because somebody else feels that way so no matter what you're feeling right now when you do your music your music is it's like an uh, oh my god i'm not so freaked out i'm not so screwed up after all somebody else is feeling this too right now so maybe that is your it is your responsibility to create and i hope you don't stop Thank you. Whether, yeah. whether you're collaborating or if you're by yourself, sure, um, sure. Stop because it sounds like you have a, your own message to tell, and other other people feel that. Other people sure, feel sure. That. Just, or, I, appreciate I appreciate that. that. I think I that agree. like um, the basis, like the message that I that I'm writing, is all across the board. It's definitely congruent, and I think that genre is a lot. If when I'm working with one person versus another versus just working by myself. Sometimes I can have such ambitious ideas in my head that like there's so many things that are going on and it's so right. hard to just yeah. get it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's so no, but hard. honestly, I, I think you should not feel bad about that because that is really part of the process. It is yeah. part of the process and, it, and it, it'll come through in, in what you create as well. So, yeah. you know, don't, don't fight it. Just, just live it, enjoy it and express it. Non-resistance. Um, that's, 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 that's what that's I would what suggest. suggest. Non-resistance. Yeah, 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 and you're yeah, so yeah. doggone young and you already have so much experience and things to say about uh, human beings and about life. Girl, don't, don't resist that. Yeah, yeah. No, we all need you. We everybody needs you. We need yeah, yeah. That's so nice. That's so nice. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate, yeah, I appreciate that, that a lot. Yeah, honestly, yeah. honestly. It can feel really isolating oh. sometimes. Well, don't don't worry about it. Whenever you feel isolated, just just give Regina a call. <laughs> we'll do. We'll do. Give, give, give us a call. You know, we'll help you out in some way if we can. Um, yeah. No doubt about some it. Some plant no therapy. There you go. There you go. Um, I want to make sure that people know what you have out there now and what you're working on and then mm -hmm. how they can reach you. Um, so what do you have um, that's available for people right now and kind of what's on the horizon? And then how can people get in touch with Kyla Silk? Sure. So I have my EP Garden out. Uh, you can find it on all streaming platforms, uh, Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Amazon Music, YouTube. We've got a lyric video for Inspiration out. We have Honeymoon off of Mark Manning's Not Enough album with the music video that just came out. Right. I'm on um, A to Z, Ben Grand's album. I wrote a song called Paralyzed that was on that. Another song that just came out recently um, is called Tripping Over Words. It's a very uh, stripped down and experimental thing that's on the album zoned out by Ana Carolina. She was one of my she was my bassist. Um some new stuff that I'm working on. I'm working on a single with Mark, which is exciting. So that's definitely yeah. gonna be fun. Good R and B feel. That's really I have it stuck in my head a lot. Um and then I've been working on this project with Dan Carr, which we've been working on for a few months now, which I'm really excited about. It's a lot more live. I, I, we, we've been talking about wanting to record it to tape. Um, so that would be a really cool process. Um, it's a lot more grungy and uh -huh. <clears throat> has a different, has a different twist on the uh -huh. idea of like manifesting and transforming and things. 
Sure. So I'm yeah. excited about that project. I would really like to start testing those songs out live and okay. then see how I'm, you know, I want to try a different is. process. Yeah. I want to yeah, try yeah, a different absolutely. process for that. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Yeah. And then I just had a video, the courtyard sessions come out that I did with Mirth Films. And I've recorded three songs that are not released that I wrote all by mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. Very stripped down. I played guitar. I did a song called Rosebud, a song mm -hmm. called The Core, and a song called mm -hmm. Help. Okay. So uh, okay. you guys can check that out. It's on YouTube. You can find me okay. anywhere. It's Kyla Silk. It's K-Y-L-A and Silk Like the Fabric. And you can reach out to me on any social media platform, but I'm also starting a blog and it's on my website, kylasilk.com. So we talked to Perfect. her before. before. It would yeah. be great yeah. to hear you do some of your stripped up music. We, we have to have you again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, stripped down music. Yeah, It'd yeah. be great to have you on again with you and your guitar. Oh yeah, oh, I'd yeah. love to do that. I would really love to do that. You yeah, guys are that, awesome. Yeah, that's one of the visions that we have going forward, honestly, is to um, do these kind of virtual concert sessions. Um, not a, and, um, and so we, we will definitely reach out to you, Kyla, in conjunction with that. And we just thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, you for are, having me. You are a star. I just want you to know that you are a star. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and we're looking you. forward to uh, to kind of hanging on to your star and working with you to help take you to even another level. All right. I appreciate so, that so, so much. Thank so you. Stay, for in, stay in touch with us. Let us know when you're releasing stuff. Um, Definitely, and, I will. And we'll, we'll, again, you know, part of our job is to make sure people hear the latest and greatest that's coming out. And so we want to definitely help you do that. Hell yeah. All that's right. Thank you so much. All right. All right, Kyla. We, we, we enjoyed it very much. Me too. Thank you. All right. All right. Be well. Bye. I All hope right. She, right. I hope she really will contact me. I don't know if you can hear me or if I'm echoing though. But um, yeah, hit me up. I'll send you my number. It'd be great. It'd be great. It'd be great. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. You can tell she's a beautiful spirit. All right. All right. So um, I know this was a challenging evening technically <laughs> for us, but we made it through. And I think the reality is, again, as, as Kyle was saying, sometimes you have some issues uh, when you're, when you're uh, in the creative process or, or trying to be in the creative process. And sometimes you have some issues when you're doing your show as well. Um, but we think uh, hopefully it was still a rich experience. And um, we thank you guys for joining us. And we look forward to um to the next show um and uh, we're, we're taking a couple of weeks off here during the summer but you're going to hear from us very soon as i said before we're really excited about deal soul cypher in a couple of months you are going to see a new a better improved uh neosoulcypher.com as well as other platforms that we are related to and so we're excited about that opportunity um, but in the meantime in between time we will make sure we stay in touch with miss kyla silk she is indeed the goods and so uh, we're looking forward to her you know being out there and and, uh, and, and making us all proud uh, with that said, Regina, thank you. I know this was a little bit of a, a difficult situation again, um, but you came through like a trooper as always, the star that you are. Appreciate you. And uh, everyone, again, um, we look forward to uh, staying in touch with you. Uh, you can always hit us up on neosoulcypher.com. You can hit us up on our socials and uh, on, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, et cetera. Check us out. We look forward to hearing from you. And that is Tonight, folks, from the Neo Soul Cypher Show, we will catch you soon. Take care.